Well, hello everybody. Dave Kovacs here. Um, I belong to a couple of organizations. Uh, some of you might recognize me from the Massachusetts Republican Assembly. Uh, I was re recently uh, re-elected to a second term as that group's president, and they are a group of constitutional conservatives here in the state, and our focus is GOP reform. Um, I also uh, am a person that believes that if you can't trust the media, be the media. So I decided to host a little program called Red Pill Politics, where I just love to talk about uncomfortable things that no one else wants to mention. <laughs> Um, well, I'm also a founding member of another group, and someone came up to me early on, and uh, here, let me put some of my props down here, a few notes, some knee pads. <laughs> um, I belong to this group, I was one of the founding members, it's called the Massachusetts Liberty Preservation Association, and a person walked up to me earlier today and said, you know, I was on the Southern Poverty Law Center site, and you were labeled a constitutional extremist. To which I said, thank you. Thank you very much. It's worse than being called a constitutional extremist. Well, I'm here as, as, another, uh, as a representative of something else, and that's uh, my kids. I've got three sons, Mark, David, and Luke. And that's why I come out in the cold. It's not because of uh, the flags and, and all the catchphrases that we're hearing today. It's because I am petrified of the country that my kids are about to inherit. And uh, that makes me a little bit upset. Now, let me pull this out here. I hate being chained down. <laughs> so that's much better. Now, we heard a lot about uh, Sandy Hook as being used as a, a media tool to get a festering anger towards uh, gun owners. And as Dan eloquently put, you know, they came out and we saw all this stuff about assault weapons being used to kill these kids. Well, it turns out that it was largely uh, handguns. And, and exactly what is an assault weapon? You know, that ballpoint pen in my pocket, this mic stand is an assault weapon in the hands of a drug-induced lunatic. So when you see those silhouettes of scary little rifles and their banana clips, they're no different than any other gun. They're tools. They're tools of personal defense. They're tools to defend the country. All right, that's what they are. We heard uh, a number of people say um, that, that these are our rights that, that, that we have. They're inherent upon our humanity. And I'm glad to hear more and more of that. And I don't want to hear people say they have the constitutional right for anything anymore. You have the God-given right. These are not constitutional rights. The maniacs in, in, in Boston and in D.C. have access to that constitution. And they will amend it to their own ends if you let them. Let's go. They like to declare things. We declared something. If that constitution of ours gets so perverted by career politicians that it no longer serves the purpose it was supposed to, then I say we go back and we remind them of the Declaration of Independence. It's a declaration and cannot be amended by those idiots. That Declaration of Independence is what we gotta go back to. It took a revolution to secure this country the first time Revolution 2.0 is coming to a state near you real soon. Let's talk a little bit about nullification. When you have a Congress that passes laws like we have seen them do more frequently um, as of late, we got to get to that point where you, you, you just got to say no. All right, nullification is a very, very old uh, principle. It's been around for a long time. And I think it's kind of what we're coming towards. I go to my politicians and I, I, I'm tired of begging them, please don't take my rights. Please stop doing that. They're not listening. They've stopped listening. They send you form letters. 
My staffers are on it and we'll get back to you. Well, I'm tired of walking in, into their offices and getting the blow off. So I walk in with these freaking knee pads. And I said, I know you're not going to listen to me, but at least you're not going to ruin a perfectly good suit. Until I get you out of office, here you go. No more asking them, we tell them. They work for us. There you go. Knee pads for everybody. Son of a... Now, I, I come from a... A small family farm. Those of you that are familiar with Belchertown probably know the old green farm. That was my great grandfather's farm, a big dairy farm at one time. He was constable in Belchertown for almost 25 years. Uh, I'm very partial to the family farm. I grew up on a family farm. Yet I hear stories about a federal government suing farmers for growing grain to feed to their own animals. All right, you want to know why they would do such a thing? Because they don't have any idea what general welfare clause stands for or the commerce clause. They tell these farmers that otherwise you would be forced to buy your grain from the international market. That you're interfering with commerce by growing grain for your own cows. That's right, that's right. If they can tell a farmer they can't grow their own feed corn and sue them and prevail. Sounds like Castro. Nullification. We got political judges that are gonna rule with these Congress critters. So nullification is ours. It's not anything again that can be amended. It's a sentiment, it lives here. All right, we're talking about Second Amendment. Let me show you something right now. If Barack Obama or any president, through executive fiat, or a Cong Congress through his infinite confusion passes a law to register and disarm me, I'm going to say to you all right now, I am not going to comply. Yeah. I am nullifying that in my head right now. No lightning bolts from He's God to strike me down? Why would he? God gave me that right. That relationship between me and God is a very close one. And I can assure you, there is no room for government between me and my God. There's no rule, no law, no policy they can pass that I am going to recognize if it interferes with unalienable rights from my God. Am I to understand that the same government that sent illegal weapons over to Mexico, killing our border agents, killing Mexican kids, that same government that is buying hundreds of thousands of rounds of hollow point bullets is the same one who is about to disarm you for your own good? Is that what I'm to understand? Did you know hollow point bullets are illegal under the Geneva Convention to use in the war theater? Well, if they're not using them in a war theater, who are they aimed at? The Second Amendment is there for personal safety, and it is for killing tyrants. All right, can we just say that out loud? Is that okay to say that? The Second Amendment is about defending this country against tyrants. You know, when Hitler was uh, tromping around the world invading countries, there was one country he didn't invade, and it was Switzerland. It happens to be a country where its people are issued guns and given training in the proper use of them. That's why Hitler didn't invade them. He would have gotten killed. Now, Sandy Hook, we, we see all kinds of fluff on the news. You know, those bad guns did those bad things. And we've got to take them away from us. And they keep repeating the same garbage over and over. See, they, they know that if they repeat it enough times, enough people will believe it. I had 22. Is that gentleman from 22 still here? 
He was here, he interviewed me earlier. And I gave him a few little nuggets of information that I thought I'd share with him. But what I'd like Channel 22 to look into, and a few of the other network and cable uh, news outlets, is why is it that the local security, the local cops in Sandy Hook, chased down and apprehended two people in the woods next to that elementary school? Why are we not talking about them? One of them was on the federal payroll. They're not reporting on that for good reason. I'd like to know a little more about it. Next time some prostitute points a camera at you, ask them to report on that. Holy mackerel. And for all of those that you want to see heads roll, and all the, I don't care where you are on the political spectrum, there are people there that want to see heads roll for what happened to those kids. Me too. I'm going to suggest they start with doctors who prescribe psychotropic drugs to these kids. If you look back at Columbine, before and after, the kids that did those terrible things were on drugs. Drugs that were written from prescription pads. Approved by an FDA. And what do they have for effects? They're not side effects. Stop using that word side effect. When something has, it, it says that it can make you homicidal or suicidal, it's an effect. It's real. It's not a side effect. So let's start putting some doctors in jail. Those school superintendents that advertise the fact our kids are no safer than shooting fish in a barrel. Put them in jail. You know what I want to hear? I want to see press releases come out where a school district says 100% of our staff have been trained in protecting the kids inside this school. Half of them are carrying firearms. No more gun-free zones around our school. They're advertising potential crime scenes. Holy mackerel. Yes, Sheriff Joe. Yesterday, I got a, an email from talking about confirmation hearings from Mr. John Kerry. He was alluded to earlier. Oh, oh. 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 I, I want to read you a quote of what this man said while defending uh, himself for his position in the Obama administration. The Constitution doesn't work in some instances. It's a quote right from Mr. John Kerry. Same person that spoke against Vietnam vets. Unfortunately, he is symbolic of most of the Congress critters. And he's going to get appointed. You know it's going to happen. And to anyone who's recording this, and it might go out and on YouTube and to the rest of the country, I am sorry. We have let one loose beyond the borders of Massachusetts to wreak havoc on the whole country, and I am very sorry for that. Yeah. I'm glad he's gone as a senator, but unfortunately we've unleashed him on the country. We were unable to keep politicians like that from advancing. These guys make a career out of what they do. They're not representing us. They're representing special interests. Another gentleman talked about the special interests as dominating this country, have blasted you in. You all heard of Agenda 21, I hope. They do want to control your water, your land, your air, your kids' mind. Well, they're about ready, Obama's ready to unleash a common core curriculum. You've got a choice. As a homeschool parent, I can tell you right now, you've got a choice. Our schools have been turned into government re-education systems. They're not teaching our kids anything that they need to know. Otherwise, they'd be talking about why Hitler didn't invade Switzerland. They know. They know that rights came from God and not a, a, a bestowment of government. Holy cow. Listen, we have all got to pull together. I'm talking to you all as individuals. But the rights are individual, you know. All right? When we leave here... 
You are not Democrats and Republicans and Libertarian Party, Constitution Party today. We're all individuals. And if we do not act like individuals and Americans, and we don't push back now, this incrementalism, we've come a long way. We've come a long way from our founding documents to where we are today. We are teetering on the edge of socialism. It's everywhere. And if we don't stop it and we don't speak as a unified voice, if we don't prepare together, I'm telling you, these, we have got to put some uh, elected officials on notice. And that's another word I'm trying to purge out of my dialect. They're not elected officials. They are public servants. They are there to serve. There's people in this crowd right now. You should be sitting on your town boards as selectmen. I've been in conservation in my town for 10 years. 15 years I've been warning people about Agenda 21. 13 of those 15 years I've been called crazy. <laughs> Things are changing. Where's Michelle? Michelle West here. here. We're right over there. I, I, with this woman last year in Iowa, we got together, a little band of us, some other uh, patriots from other states, and we passed the first national resolution opposing Agenda 21. Yeah. Yeah. So started out with a little group of people. A few months later, the GOP thought, hey, maybe we might want to chime in on this now. So they've adopted that in their platform, yep. only through pressure, yep. you see, because uh, you know they, these career politicians in the Republican side, they, they benefit from their own uh, actions too sometimes, but they felt pressured to make a statement and they did. And it started with just a couple of people kicking up a little dust about this stuff. And it only took in my community, they're starting to wake up. Land trusts that come in pretending to save your, your farms and save your land for future generations. Wrap it up in something patriotic. And then, lo and behold, when their conservation restrictions come through, they ban tractors from farms. And we look who they're working for and who they're allied with. And it's those public-private partners. And where do those partnerships usually lead? United Nations. The United Nations and all their little lackey organizations. Incrementally, we're losing it, folks. It's taken years to get to the point we're at. And it's gonna take years to withdraw from many of these entanglements. But we must start, and we must be serious about it. No more asking, like I said, don't go up, please don't take my rights. They're not gonna listen, they're gonna say something to you to make you think they're gonna do something when you leave their office. Tea parties, 912 groups, political packs. You've all got to come around and you've got to start looking at the, the core principles that make us what we are. Rally around that. I remember a day when Democrats and Republicans could actually work together. Right now it's all window dressing. Remember they just talked about this balanced budget? Let me tell you, when they both sit there and argue over some flavor of a balanced budget, that's not cutting government. The FDA, chop, gone. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, chop, gone. Yeah. EPA, boom, gone. Yeah. That's cutting government. Department of Education. What are you running? Department yeah. of Education. Oh. Oh. The whole damn thing, gone. Homeland oh, Security, gone right. Oh, I had something on my foot. CSA, they're rallying in Boston. Let's get up there and help those folks. That's cutting government. Now you tea parties. I knew I was going to see some of these Gadsden flags out here today. And I'm quite confident I'm going to tick a few of you off here, but at least you're feeling something. <laughs> I'm proposing an update for your Gadsden flag. All right, if I can get the full thing apart here. You see, we, we fight a lot about who's in charge of our groups. I've seen so many of these groups wind up getting divided and conquered under their own, their own 
I don't know what it is they're after. Everyone wants to be in charge, but no one ever really has a plan. We're going to stop fighting over who's in charge. You all need to be leaders in your own respect. What's next? Your flag always said, don't tread on me. Now what? Yep. You have been tread on. Now what? What's the next version of the flag going to be for you? Don't tread on me, comma, please? <laughs> Pretty please with sugar on top? Well, no, that ain't going to work. Our governors are regulating sugar out of our soft drinks to protect us from a sugar. For God's sakes, when is it going to stop? They're treading on you now. And if you don't stop them, they will continue to tread until there's nothing left of this country to tread upon. They're going to be socialized like the rest of the nations of the world. When they talk about public-private partnerships, and we get into these partnerships, and we look at all the partners involved and find out socialist nation, Marxist nation, dictatorship. Why are we surprised when our land use plans and our school curriculums come back stinking of socialism. Don't be surprised when you lay down with dogs, you wake up with fleas. When you partner with socialists, your policies become socialists. Do not give up your guns. If they want you to register them, nope. there's no need. I saw nothing in the Constitution about registration. You know, when you, get a, when you register or take a license for something, you turn a right into a privilege every single time. Now, I just declared before God and every one of you that I'm prepared to ignore these executive orders. I'm still alive. I'm going to have as many guns when I go home now as I did when I left this morning. And more by tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! You all need to do that too. Nullification is easy. You feel good. I come to a, a, a town over and they sell fresh milk. All right, the, the FDA likes to call it raw because it, it, the imagery it conjures up. They tell me it's against state law for me to pick up two gallons of milk and transport one to an elderly relative across town lines. Baloney. Horrible. Now, yep. baloney, that's a polite way of putting it. <laughs> Well, if they feel they have to engage the local Board of Health, the FDA, and every health official to go and arrest Dave Kopaz for picking up raw milk and bringing it to his elderly mother, then good. I've seen you waste a lot more money on much more stupid things. <laughs> Nullification, I'll tell you. Nullify something. It's like a breath of fresh air. You feel good. I'm not against good policy and good law. But I am against things that jeopardize an entire nation. What was established is a free republic. Don't let them call this a democracy. As three wolves and a sheep deciding what to have for dinner, we are a republic, a free and constitutional republic. Now, before my blood pressure goes any higher, I get myself arrested. I, I really want to recommend that everybody here today Make friends with a person to the, your left and to your right. And I want you to hook up. Where's uh, Rich and, and Jason back here? I want you to sign. they got a clipboard over here. I ask them to get every single one of your names and email addresses because this is only one seed that we planted. This is not going to stop. We're going to take this all across Massachusetts. We're going to start little fires of liberty in every one of the 50 states that we have to. And we do have to. So Jason and Rich, these guys right here, please stop in before you leave the rally today. We want you at the next rally. We want you up here. You are a group of leaders in and of yourself. It shouldn't always be the same people up on this stage. It should be each of you. You've all got a story to tell. Please tell it while the First Amendment is still in place. With respect to the press, remember we're supposed to have a free press? 
That's dead. It's dead. The religion, the, the, the separation of religion with church and state is almost dead. And we talked about permits a lot. I hope you all go out and start a rally of your own. And when someone comes up and says, hey, you need a permit for that, you remind them that you, the only permit you got is the First Amendment of the Constitution. You don't ask the government for permission to protest them. The moment that happens, if you're going to go get a permit, go home and grab your damn remote control. You've already lost. No permits. You don't need them. You come out, you speak your mind. You show up to their meetings and you speak your mind. If they don't listen, you run against them. Call me, I'll help you run against them. It's what we do and we'll continue. Reform is coming. It's coming to the Republican Party. It's coming to the Democratic Party, but it's coming. Rest assured that it's on its way. Well, I want to thank you all for putting up with my rant. Thank you for coming out here in the cold. This ain't Valley Forge, but it's starting to feel like it. And please don't forget, sign up. We want to know who you all are. I want to invite you to the next event. And it's coming up. Thank you all. Protect those rights. And remember, they come from God, not from government.